Hey guys, it's the Cardist and welcome back to Deck War. In today's Deck War, we will be facing the Fury 11 Rebels versus the Red Jack Sellers. I do not own any of the other colours of the Jacks, if so I would show them, but I do not own any of them, but feel free to send them if you like. <laughs> so, both of these decks straight away are by Fury 11, uh, and I thought it would be really awesome to show you a little, you know, inside of them and give it a bit of a comparison. Uh, and this was actually a request from a fellow YouTuber, so keep them coming, it really does help us out. So let's get shot into the Rebels deck. Okay, so here we have the Fury 11 Rebels deck, this is kind of a close-up of it. Now let me quickly show you the tuck case. As you can see on the front of the deck, it has Fury 11 with this eagle here and here, and this is embossed the whole way through, like silver foil on the front and on the rest of the tuck case. It has this grey tuck case that goes around the front, by the way. It's really cool. The whole box is grey, like a dark grey black. But the front of the box has Fury 11, and it has like this uh, eagle there and there, and it has uh, XI, and it has this nice scroll work design on the front, and it has the Fury 11 logo there. Then it has Made in the USA, and it has this nice scroll work that goes around the outside. Now, if we turn it to the side, as you can see, it has the US Playing Card Company, made in the USA, with some nice scroll work designs on the side there. Then on the other side, it has a studio number one, it has the same, you know, designed work there and there. On the bottom, it has the Fury 11 logo with Las Vegas, Nevada, and, you know, some, you know the barcode, and just telling you who made it, Fury 11. Then on the bottom, uh, on the top, it has this custom Fury 11 stamp seal with this nice scroll work there. And then we got on with the back design. The back design has this silver foil with the Washington DC, I believe it is, the White House. Um, I believe that's what I, I, if I, if I'm correct. If not, someone correct me. I do apologise if I'm wrong. Uh, and then it has this nice scroll work back, you know, to the back design with a black border going around. And you have the same border going around here that you do on the front. So let's get straight on into the Red Jacks. Okay, so here we have the Red Jacks deck. As you can see, it's an absolutely lovely deck of cards. Nice red foil on the deck, and I absolutely love it. It's really a reflective foil, and I do like it myself. So, let's have a quick look at it. So, first off, as you can see, the box is embossed a little bit. Not as much as the Fury 11 Rebels, but it is embossed. And it has got a lot of um, foil around the whole deck. And I believe, from if I'm correct, there is no ink on this. It's all foil, so that's really, really cool. So as you can see it has these lines, like these diamonds, some of them are lines, some of them are just plain, you know, no lines at all, and then some of them, so it's really cool. And if you look, that does have the pips as well, you have half that is solid and half that is lines. On the front it has this little spade here with like a wine glass in the middle, it has Jack Sellers. If you don't know what Jack Sellers is, it is a wine company, uh, just to let you know. And on the side it has Play A Little, okay. On the bottom it has, I'm just doing really close up here, it says produced and stu distributed by Jack Sellers. And then it has visit us at jacksellers.com. Then on the top it has the, the official Jack Sellers playing cards. The back design shows it's a one way back, but when you get inside it is not, it's a mirrored back. It has a black border going around with this red foil embossed in there to make this really cool back design with all that, the grapes there and everything. It's really cool with the vines, it does suit the theme because it, it is a wine. On here it has enjoy and good luck, okay, as you can see it says enjoy and good luck and it has Jack Sellers there with the same logo we see on the front of the tuck case. You pop up the tab and it has, um, you know, some stuff there and it has go ahead and deal and I think that's a nice touch. And with the Rebels deck by the way, on the tab it does have some scroll work and the Fury 11 logo and inside the tuck case it is red, okay. And I like this one as well because when inside the tuck case it's grey and it continues with the colour. So let's get straight on with the review of the uh, Rebels. Okay, so let's get straight on into this. So first off, you receive the back design of the cards. Uh, as you can see, it has a nice white border that goes round. Uh, it isn't actually centred, 100%, as you can see, that isn't a big deal. Uh, but, you know, it's not a big deal, really. It has this nice scroll work um, back design here with, like, the White House, I believe, or Washington, D.C., I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't live in America, so I do apologise. It has this nice border that goes round it with this nice scroll work design, and it's a really, really detailed back design. Now let's get on with the cards you receive with this deck. Okay, here we go. So first off, you receive a advertisement card for Fury11.com, and it has some you know copyright information there. Then you receive a double backer, and this is always useful for magic. It, it always does. It always does help. Then you receive two jokers. It has Joker, Joker, and we have the same. These are identical jokers here, uh, and it has um, this Joker that is kind of prancing around with. Uh, 
a Joker mask there and there with a crown. It has Fear 11 Rebels, and I think it's a really cool Joker's there. So you get two identical Jokers, and that's always useful for magic. The faces themselves, as you can see, you have the Ace of Spades, really cool with like, the eagle in the middle. It has Fear 11 Rebels and nice scroll work design, and it has trusted quality. The rest of the pips are completely standard bicycle. Then you get to the royalty, and then the royalty are you know the standard coloration to normal Fear 11 would do, and it continues the whole way through. The reds are a little bit more darker, and the blacks are normal, and then the royalty is like, just a little bit more different coloration. So it's basically a bicycle deck. Um, for the faces, but yeah, they've changed the ace and the coloration to the royalty. So let's get on with the uh, red jacks. Okay, so here we have the red jacks deck. As you can see straight away, it is not a one way back, it is a mirrored back. It does have this really cool, nice red reflective back design. It has jack sellers and it has, you know, enjoying good luck with the kind of the the grapes there in the corner, if you can see that. It's a really, really cool back design. Now, the cards you receive, um, and this deck is fully custom. Uh, and I do like when their decks are fully custom at Fear 11, they always produce really good ones when they're fully custom. Here we have Jack Sellers and some of their wines, okay, and like their website link. Then you receive a um, welcome to Jack Sellers and uh, we are a new company, you know, and telling you all about what they do. Then you receive two jokers that are basically identical, but one's blue and one's red. And as you can see, it's kind of like a sock, um, like a Christmas sock, but it has a J for Jack and it has a crown on top. With this nice diamond, you know, gold, white, gold, white, and it has, uh, you know, Jack Sellers, really, really cool, identical kind of um, f uh, jokers there. The pips you get themselves, the black cards are silver, and the red cards are like a darkish, reddy silver, uh, like a burgundy silver colour. The Ace of Spades has Jack Sellers, okay, and it has this nice Ace of Spades with uh, this nice scroll work pattern inside. Really, really cool, and it has play a little, jacksellers.com. The pips the whole way through have this really cool pattern of uh, when it goes from a solid to like a lines. Uh, so half of it's a solid and half of it's like lines, and it continues the whole way through, and I think it makes the deck really cool. And these pips are really pointy as well. You get to the royalty, and these are fully custom. You get the, the king, the jack, the queen, they're holding a Jack Sellers bottle. One's drinking wine, one's eating grapes, and it's really cool the coloration to the blue and the customness to them. The hearts are the same as well, basically the same but to different coloration and they're basically holding the same stuff. And then the, the faces for the tens, uh, or the hearts, is exactly basically the same. Really quite pointy hearts with the, like, the lines halfway through. And then the clubs, you know, are the same and etc for the diamonds. So, which one is the fa my favourite? But first, we have to get on to handling. Okay, so let's test the Fear 11 Rebels out first. So first off, they really do, they dribble really well. They spring really good as well. I've had no problems with the springing on this deck whatsoever. We can do a riffle shuffle. They riffle shuffle with ease. No problems with this. Really, really cool and I think it goes really well. Uh, but it does it drop some there. <laughs> My bad. A fan on this deck looks really cool because of the thin border and it really does look nice and I do like that. You know, you can do a Charlier cut quite easily. No problems with that at all. Charlier cut again, you know, no problems with that whatsoever. What's really cool with this deck is the thin border. I do like it compared to most. Sorry, I was I accidentally bumped the tripod there. You know, color changes, double lifts are very easy. You know, color changes themselves are with ease. No problems with that whatsoever. We can do a ferro, as I know many people like to see ferro shuffles. As you can see, it does a ferro easily as well. And then when it comes to the giant fan, it does a giant fan amazingly and it looks absolutely stunning so it's a really really cool deck of cards it does everything you throw at it and it's really really cool and it does last a very long time and also we can do a spread and it spreads and flips great also so let's move on to the handling of the jacks okay so straight away the jacks do dribble really nicely they're more of a stiffer stock compared to the jacks uh, sorry compared to the uh, rebels they sound a little bit more different and the stock feels a little bit more tougher thus that could be a good thing a riffle shuffle with this deck, um, you know, riffle shuffles really nicely. Uh, you can do a ferro shuffle, okay, as you can see, it ferros really easily as well. And then we can do a giant fan, and it giant fans nicely as well. Just apart from I messed that up there, I will redo that. Uh, and it does a normal fan quite nicely, uh, no problems with that whatsoever, uh, no issues at all. A double lift, you know, no problems, colour changes with ease, um, no problems with that whatsoever. Apart from that, was quite a bad one. Uh, I don't know where, where the hell did that card just disappear to? It just 
disappeared. Um, somewhere in here it's disappeared too, but, but oh well, it's fine. Um, Charlier cuts quite easily as well, and for cutting, you know, it's really, really good. Now, we'll do another ferro shuffle, okay, for you guys, because I know you guys would like to see. And you can see it does ferro really, really nicely. And we can do a uh, giant fan once again. And as you can see, my, it does do a giant fan okay-ish. It is clumping, because it doesn't last too long, but it's a quite cool deck. And a one-hand ripple shuffle is good as well. So which one is my favourite? Let's get into that. Okay, so which one is my favourite? The Fury 11 Red Bulls or the Jacks? Okay, so the winner is the ja uh, sorry, the uh, Rebels. The reason I chose the Rebels is I just love the deck, I love the tuck case, and it really does appeal to me, this deck, for some reason. I think it's just the really cool thin border. The um, I like the fake, I know the fakes are quite standard, but I sometimes like that. But Fury 11 do like to start with all their decks. I do like the deck for some reason, it has this stock and finish to it that it just makes it handle like a dream. The Jack Sellers, in my previous opinion, uh, nothing wrong with them whatsoever, but they do clump after time. But other than that, it's a really, really cool deck, and I recommend picking it up or picking both of these up. So the winner of Deck War today is the Fury 11 Rebels, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you thought that the Rebels were going to win, then comment down below telling me that. Now what would you guys like to see in the next Deck War? Why not let us know if you comment down below telling us what you would like to see next in the next Deck War, and we will make that happen. Make sure you like the video by hitting the like just down there, check out the previous Deck War just there, and click my subscribe just up there if you haven't already, and check out my previous uh, review just there. That's it. Hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. It really, really does help. Would you mind giving the video a like just down there somewhere? Because it will show us your, it will show us your support to the channel. It shows us that you like the decks we review and the videos that we put out. If you would also like to show support in many ways, you can. You can click subscribe. You can comment on the video and you can like the video. And if you'd like to be an amazing person for us and help us out, there is a survey in the description of every single video that tells you, uh, you can go on and there's 10 questions and you can fill it out and you give your opinion on what you think of the channel and it really does help. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.